I call to order the regular meeting of the Central Parish Council Thursday, July 1st, to order. Our invocation tonight will be re led by the Reverend Melvin Williams from the First Baptist Church of Smoke Bend. Reverend Williams, please. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, the author and the finisher of our faith, the God in whom we move, live, and have our being. Come again, Master, to say thank you. We thank you for your love, your kindness, your mercy, and your grace, and for being so good and for being so kind. And our Lord God, most mighty, most holy, and merciful Savior, we ask a special blessing tonight upon the Martinez family that they would be strengthened and continue to glorify and magnify your name. We pray for all who come that they would be strengthened and maintain faith and trust in thee. And Father, when the end shall come, we act that thou would save. We ask it all in your darling son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. My pledge tonight will be led by Hunt Downer. Would face the flag, please. Place your right hand across your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Thank you, Hunt. I'd like to say a few words about Hunt, please. Hunt, a recently retired as Major General of the Louisiana National Guard after 35 years. He's a graduate of the United States Army War College and recipient of over 30 military awards. General Downell served 28 years, seven terms in the Louisiana House of Representatives. <coughs> he served as Speaker Pro Tem and Speaker of the House. General Downer is a graduate of Nickel State University with a degree in Agriculture <coughs> and Loyola University Law School. He is currently a candidate for the U.S. Congress in Louisiana uh, 3rd District. General Downer, we appreciate you being here tonight, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Councilman, tonight we will pass on item number 10. And item 25. and 25. Okay, we'll go roll call, Mr. Zahn. All present with the exception of Councilman Todd Lambert. I don't have any chairs additions. If anyone wants to speak on any item on the agenda, sign in, Ms. Suzanne, you'll be allowed three minutes. We don't have any presentations tonight. Our parish president report, we do not have anything. We had the superintendent school, Patricia Pujo, coming in tonight, and she, she had something come up. She will come to a later meeting. While we are on the president's report, I would like to take this time to everyone to keep President Martinez and his family. His brother Milton Cluart passed away this week and was buried yesterday. Keep them in your, in your prayers, please. And also the Roland Luke family. Thank you. We'll go into our consent agenda. I'll need a motion, please. Motion. Motion by Councilman Randy Kluot. Second. Second by Councilman Kent Shakespeare. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Our committee reports, uh, Chairman uh, Todd Lambert, uh, the Vice Chairman is Dennis Cohen. Councilman Cohen, please. All right, uh, Mr. Chairman, we had a uh, fire district number two board, and we got uh, Larry Zerang. So moved. Second. We got a motion by Councilman Kent Shakespeare. I have a second by Councilman Benny Johnson. In discussion, any objection? Motion carries. We had a reappointment for the contractors uh, board and Henry Chauvin. So moved. So moved. We got a motion by Councilman George Valentine, second by Councilman Kent Shakespeare. In discussion, any objection? Motion carries. Uh, planning and zoning. 
Milton Kluot. So moved. Second. Motion by Councilman Lambert. Dempsey Lambert. Second by Councilman Chris Lohr. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. And library board. That's a tough one. Mr. I'm going to say Mr. Delaney. No, Mr. Mr. Delaney. All right. Motion. I have a motion by Councilman Randy Clue. I'll second by Councilman George Valentine. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. That's the answer. Thank you, Councilman Cullen. Eight A. Our recreation committee meeting. Our Chairman Dennis Cullen, please. Uh, we got the cooperative endeavor agreement between the parish of Ascension, the city of Donaldsonville, baseball, softball, basketball, uh, other opportunities for the citizens of the West Bank of Ascension Parish. Motion. Second. Motion by Councilman Thompson, second by Councilman Oliver Joseph. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Moving our planning and zoning recommendation. Planning Director, Mr. Ricky Compton, please. Zoning Review ID 2082.10, located on the north side of Tommy Moore Road, approximately 350 feet east of Airline Highway, to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map from medium intensity residential to mixed use for review only. Zoning Commission recommended approval of this item to rezone tract A1A2C to its previous zoning mixed use prior to the parish wide rezone. Okay, review only, huh, sir? Okay, thank you. Item 10, we will pass on. Item 11, <coughs> Qualification Submittal Review Services for Ascension Parish Wastewater Collection Treatment Systems. Mr. Kenny Matassa, please. Gentlemen, this is the uh, contract for the company to review uh, the sewer uh, project from the with the private public partnership deal. Um, Manshack Engineering is the company. So moved. Moved by Councilman Kent Shakespeare. I'll second. Second by Councilman Dennis Cullen. Any discussion? Yes. Councilman Clearwood. Yeah. Could you repeat that? I didn't hear you real good. You said that was uh, with who? Manchac uh, Consulting Engineers. It's a uh, sewer specialist. Okay. And they're going to be reviewing the uh, submittals from the companies that want to do that sewer project with the parish. Thank you, sir. Okay. Any more discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Item 12, acceptance of low quotes submitted by Holly Construction to construct two handicapped restrooms for Lamar Dixon and Ascension Parish Department of Public Works at a cost of $28,965 each and to authorize Parish President Tommy Martinez to sign related contract documents. Motion. Motion by Councilman Randy Clure, second by Councilman Chris Lohr. In discussion, in objection, motion carries. Item 13. Intergovernmental agreement between the Parish of Ascension and District Attorney of the 23rd Judicial District and Assistant District Attorney Tony Faltman for the purposes of the placement of Tony Faltman in the position of staff attorney for the Parish of Ascension beginning on July 26, 2010 by the District Attorney. Motion. Motion by Councilman Randy Clurod. Second. I didn't see who it was. Adrian. Second by uh, Councilman Adrian Thompson. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Item 13A, Section 8 Rental Assistance Update. Uh, Roberto Macedo, Macedo and Associates. Uh, Martha, would you like to say anything on this? Mr. Chairman, he was going to give an update on the uh, opening up of vouchers for the Section 8. I'm not sure. It's not like him not to show up, so do okay. something. Uh, and I, I apologize, I That's was fine. not ready. Okay. Item 13B, ratification of intergovernmental agreement between the Parish of Ascension and West Ascension Recreational Services Commission regarding the FEMA funding for pavilion construction and repair. Ms. Uh, Lindsay, do you have anything on that? So moved. Moved by Councilman Oliver Joseph. Second. Second by Councilman 
Adrian Thompson, any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. 13C, resolution to hire Jones Walker, special counsel for the wastewater collection and distribution system project. Motion. Kenny Matassa, please. Uh, Jones Walker is the company that's going to do the reviewing of the, uh, the companies that submit for the sewer project with the parish. Okay. I have a motion by Councilman Adrian Thompson. Second by Councilman Kent Shakespeare. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. It'll be Mr. Fred Chevalier. Okay. Next, we'll move into our introduction of ordinance, our legal counsel. Ms. Lindsay Manda, please. Item 14, introduction of ordinance to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map from medium intensity residential to mixed use zoning review ID 2080.10, located on the north side of Tommy Moore Road, approximately 250 feet east of Airline Highway for Brian Dubach. Move to introduce. Move to introduce by Councilman George Valentine. Second, Second by Councilman Randy Cluart. Any discussion? Any objection? Ordinance is introduced. Item 15. Introduction of ordinance to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map from medium intensity residential to crossroads commercial. Zoning review ID 2079.10. Located on the north side of Cannon Road, approximately 550 feet west of Highway 431. Janet Michael property. Motion to introduce. Motion to introduce Councilman Adrian Thompson, yes. second by Councilman Randy Cluart. Any discussion? Any objection? Ordinance is introduced. We'll move into our public hearing ordinance section. Number 16, please. Ms. Lindsay. Be it ordained that the following millages are hereby levied on the 2010 tax roll on all property subject to, to taxation by the Council of the Parish of Ascension, Louisiana. Parish tax 2.86. Parish Tax Donaldsonville 1.43, Parish Tax Gonzales 1.43, <coughs> Health 2.00, Mental Health 2.00, Library Maintenance 4.20, Library Maintenance Number 2 2.60, Lighting District Number 1 5.00, Lighting District Number 2 1.00, Lighting District Number 3 5.00, Lighting District Number 4 5.00, Lighting District Number 5 5.00. Lighting District Number Six, five point zero zero. Lighting District Number Seven, five point zero one. East Ascension Drainage, five point zero zero. West Ascension Drainage, five point three three. West Ascension Drainage Number Two, four point six seven. Parish Council on Aging, one point five zero. Fire District Number Three, ten point zero zero. Utilities District Number One, ACUD, ten point zero zero. Be it further ordained that the proper administrative officials of the Parish of Ascension, State of Louisiana, be, and they are hereby empowered, authorized, and directed to spread said taxes as here and above set forth upon the assessment roll of said parish for the year 2010, and to make the collection of the taxes imposed for and on behalf of the taxing authority according to law, and that the taxes here and levied shall become a permanent lien and privilege on all the property subject to taxation as herein set forth and collection thereof shall be enforceable in the manner provided by law. I need a motion to open the public hearing, please. Motion. Motion by Councilman Randy Cluart. Second by Councilman Dennis Cullen. Anyone wishing to speak on this item, come forward. You'll be allowed three minutes. I need a motion to close public hearing. Motion. Motion by Councilman Benny Johnson. Second. Second by Councilman Chris Lohr. I need a motion to uh, move the ordinance, please. Motion by Councilman Adrian Thompson. Second, Second by Councilman Randy Cluart. Uh, any discussion? Any objection? Ordinance is adopted. Okay. 19, please. Budget amendment number five. An ordinance to amend the ordinance approving, adopting, and appropriating the 2010 operating and capital budgets for the Parish of Ascension, adopted by the Ascension Parish Council on the 19th day of November 2009. Section 1, the Ascension Parish Council hereby ordains that the ordinance approving, adopting, and appropriating the 2010 operating and capital budgets for the Parish of Ascension is hereby amended, approved, and appropriated as follows. East Ascension Drainage Fund expenditures increase, of, increase to $175,000 for repairs to Marvin Bro pumping station. Approved at drainage board meeting on May 3, 2010. Major repairs, flood control, $65,000. Recreation fund expenditures. Site work at parks, $100,000. 
Site work at parks. Construct skate park on property behind Armory Building on Irma Boulevard, $100,000. Site work at parks. Construct new playground at Geismar Community Center, $20,000. Site work at parks. Various projects at all parks, $50,000. Acquisitions, building and land. Purchase property to build boat launch, $30,000. Utilities fund expenditures. Professional Services, Water Science LLC Contract, Expert Sewer Consultant for Parish Sewer Plan, $49,000. Professional Services, U.S. Ar Ar Army Corps of Engineers Design Plan for Lift Station and Discharge to River, $50,000. Professional Services, Contracts to Hire Several Professionals to Evaluate and Make Recommendations on the Public-Private Sewer Proposals for the Comprehensive Sewer Plan for the Parish, $75,000. I need a motion to uh, open public hearing. Motion, motion by Councilman George Valentine. Second by Councilman Benny Johnson. Anyone wish to speak on this item, please come forward. You'll be allowed three minutes. Motion to close. Motion to close by Councilman Benny Johnson. Second, Second by Councilman Adrian Thompson. I need a motion to approve the ordinance, please. Motion, motion by Councilman Chris Lohr. Second. Second by Councilman Randy Cluart. Any discussion? <coughs> Any objection? Ordinance is adopted. 22, please, ma'am. Purpose to declare surplus and authorize the sale of miscellaneous movable equipment and to authorize the parish to collect the purchase price, sales tax if applicable, and an administrative fee if applicable, not to exceed 7.5% from the purchaser of the surplus property. Whereas, whereas the parish of Ascension has certain assets that are no longer viable to retain, and whereas these assets are no, no longer serve or have any public purpose. And whereas the Parish of Ascension desires to declare said assets as surplus and provide for the sale and or transfer of same. Therefore, be it ordained by the Ascension Parish Council, acting in its capacity as the governing authority, that it hereby declares the listing of assets attached hereto and made a part hereof as Exhibit A, surplus, and authorizes the sale and or transfer of same. Be it further ordained that the Parish of Ascension shall collect from the purchaser the purchase price of the property, sales tax if applicable, and, and an administrative fee if applicable. And the administrative fee shall not exceed 7.5%. Move to open the public hearing. Councilman George Valentine makes the motion to open public uh, hearing. Second by Councilman Randy Clouard. Anyone wish to speak on this item, come forward. You'll be allowed three minutes. Motion to close. Mr. Motion Chair. to close public hearing by Councilman Benny Johnson. Second by Councilman Randy Cluart. I'll need a motion to approve the ordinance, please. Motion to move the ordinance. Motion by Councilman Benny Johnson. Second, Second by Councilman Dennis Cullen. Any uh, discussion? Any objection? Ordinance is adopted. Before we get to our last item, uh, number 26, which Councilman Lambert is not here tonight, but uh, I'd like to thank. Uh, well, I know it's going to be Chairman. tough. It's going to be rough for three Mr. years. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Well, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Uh, Referred to walked in. Can we go to the item back to item number 13? Uh, a. Yeah, come on up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the council. Apologize for my tardiness. Sometimes getting out of Baton Rouge is something else. Um, I'm here tonight to inform you that on July, Friday, July the 16th, the Parish of Ascension will be accepting applications for the Section 8 rental assistance waiting list. Um, as in the past, what we will do is set up a 1-800 number where anybody in the parish can call in uh, on Friday the 16th starting at 8.30 in the morning. We generally take the first 50 callers and we close the, the waiting list at that time. Uh, the notice will be advertised in the Gonzales Weekly on July the 9th and the 13th and in the Donaldsonville Chief on July the 8th. Uh, the reason for this intake is because the previous one that we did Back in December of 2006, uh, we only had four um, applicants in that waiting list. So we're, we're going to renew or, or build uh, up the, uh, the waiting list. The intake in December of 2006 was uh, strictly for elderly and disabled families. 
this time around is going to be for the general, no, no special qualification, other than the applicant has to be of low income. Um, the HUD regulations can not uh, or require that if somebody else other than from Ascension Parish, for instance, somebody calls from Assumption Parish to this intake, we have to take that applicant. The only provision is that once we get to that person, if they qualify, they would have to relocate to Ascension Parish for at least one year, and then they would be able to port the voucher anywhere else in the country. So if it's out of this uh, the parish, then they have to come in. If they are in the parish, they can, at the time of issuing the voucher, they can actually take that voucher and move anywhere in the country. Um, any questions on the regular Section 8 program? Yeah, I got a quick question for you. Thank you, sir. All right, you, you just arbitrarily mentioned Assumption Parish. Are they doing that in Assumption Parish? Yeah, they have their own program. Okay, and Livingston Parish and St. James Parish in Iberville, Correct. East Baton Rouge? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. So it's basically the same thing that somebody can call into one of the other parishes? Correct. Correct. Okay. And um, for instance, East Baton Rouge is taking applications now. Mm -hmm. Of course, they have several thousand vouchers. We only have 85. And what is the voucher based on? Of course, East Baton Rouge Parish is much larger than us in population, or, or, or is it based on minority income ratios? Uh, what is it based no, on? No, it's based strictly on, on um, you have to be low in mod to moderate income, mm -hmm. and the, the amount of the voucher uh, depends on the size of the family. Mm -hmm. So we issue vouchers for um, a one bedroom size, if it's just one person, two, three, up to four bedroom vouchers, Jim. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Councilman Shakespeare. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Macedo, real quick. Uh, these sites that are, are current available, Section 8 sites throughout the parish, uh, that's a, that, that you're looking to fill? Well, <clears throat> remember, the, the voucher holder is the one that selects the unit. Right. So there is no Section 8 housing per se. Uh, is the voucher holder that okay. takes to a, a private landlord, and if the landlord agrees to participate, then that property becomes Section 8. Okay. If once that tenant leaves that unit, that unit goes back to the open market. Thank you. Councilman Joseph. Mr. Mercedo, um, you say the whole parish has only 85 vouchers? Let me correct that. <clears throat> Within the parish, the city of Donaldsonville has its own program, and that is, uh, I believe, 90 vouchers. Okay. Uh, okay. Each municipality uh, can apply, uh, but since Donaldsonville is the only municipality that has this program, for instance, the city of Gonzales doesn't have it, Sorrento or Clareville. So uh, the parish takes over or, or manages that those programs. So so we have a total of them roughly the, the numbers you're using about 175 of them. Correct. 175 vouchers. Correct. For over a hundred thousand people that live in Ascension Parish. That's normal a good number for section eight? Well um, the sec the the success of a Section 8 program is as good as your housing stock. Um, we may issue 20 vouchers and maybe only six or seven will actually lease up. When we issue the voucher, we give the family this document or several documents. They go looking for a unit. We usually, they usually have uh, 60 days to find a unit. If they show that they've been looking for a unit and they call us and they tell us that we cannot find anything yet, then we give them an additional 30 days. 
So after the 90 days, if the family does not find a unit, well, that voucher becomes void. So out of 20, maybe six or seven families actually lease up. So there's a good amount of vouchers that are not leased up because the housing is not there. And, and by that, I mean the, the range of rent that is allowable by this program, because we have to go by the fair market rent of the uh, U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Rousseau. What's the most common range of rent? Um, <clears throat> probably in the vicinity between 600 and 750. Okay. Thank you. And just one other piece of information. <clears throat> um, as you know, the parish also uh, administer the DHAP, the Disaster Housing Assistance Program for families displaced by Hurricane Gustav. That program started in 2009, January 2009. And at its uh, peak, we assisted 80 families in this program. This program was originally going to end in March of 2010, this year. It was extended to May 27th, and the federal government has extended again to October 31st of 2010. However, in that particular program, the families have to uh, contribute towards the rent uh, in increments of $50 a month. So from the 80 that we have around June of this year, we're down to 28 now. So the families, little by little, pick up the majority of the rent, and then they're going to be on their own in October. Mr. Councilman Joseph. Mr. Uh, Sam. So after this DHAP program, it could be eliminated when the federal government called it. Correct. At the next August or whatever. Well, the DHAP Gustav ends October 31st, because okay. that's directly related to Hurricane Gustav. Of course, we had one previously to that, previous to that, and that was the uh, families displaced by Hurricane Katrina. But that that program is over. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Thank you. All right, Councilman, before we get to item 26, uh, uh, special thanks to Clint and Lester for tonight's uh, meeting. Scott Rabelais, Suzanne Patterson, Lindsay Madness, thank you all. Since you passed deputy in the back of the room, we appreciate you, sir. Uh, happy birthdays go out tonight to Ronnie Fairchild, Kim Bro, and Miss Jackie Bowman. I'll need a motion for item 26, please. Motion. Motion of Councilman Randy Kluart. Second by Councilman Dennis Cullen. 